What do you think about marijuana? All of this is bad. You know that. You don't need to ask me. If a smoke is bad, marijuana is bad. It's not because government they legalize it or not. Government are a stupid government, always. 99% of the decision is false and wrong. So, not because they legalize it or not. Actually, they legalize the marijuana just for the sake of money, because that will bring a lot of income. So the whole plan is, instead of making billions of dollars going to the drug dealers in neighbors' countries, let them stay here. Let us grow drugs here. Legalize drugs here. That's the whole idea. But everybody knows that it's not healthy, it's not right, it's a bad idea. So government are satanic. They worship money. All what they care for is economy and money. An economy for them, even if it's in, the, in, in, in your death, in your health. In fact, this is good for, uh, you know, uh, you know uh, hospitals and doctors. They will make a lot of money. More people will get sick. More people, you know. People are stupid. People are naive. People do stupid things. A person here have depression. A person here is suffering. A person is sad. What we do to ourselves, we start smoking. We start drinking. And we think that will help us. In fact, this is, will make it even more horrible. You will grow older in age. Your skin will not be the same. Your heart will not be the same. Your kidney will not be the same. And your mind will not be the same. So you have pain, now you have double pain. You were worried before about something, now you are worried about many things. And not only that, the money you will spend and you are burning. They fool you, they give you smoke. You smoke, smoke. Once I was going like, you know, with a friend and he have his wife with him. Okay, like, you know, we have fire. So he took with him, uh, he have a box of cigarette. So I took it, I threw it in the fire. He got so upset. Why you do that? Do you know that this is the only box I have with me until tomorrow? Well, I'm going to buy one now. I said, well, aren't you going to burn it? I just burn it for you. I'm not going to allow him to smoke a cigarette and make me smoke with him. I will not. You want to smoke, you smoke when you're alone. You smoke next to me. I will become a smoker like you because I will inhale your stupid smoke. No, I never took drugs. I never smoke. And I will never do so. Do I need to take poison to see if poison can kill me? Why am I taking drugs? People do things based on their intelligence level. So, if you are smart, you should not get close to it. If you did once, that means you've been stupid once. If you did twice, that means you've been stupid twice. So, the more you do it, the more stupid you are. And I'm not being offensive, I'm just telling you what, what people do. Why you want to take it? Why you want to take something bad? Why you want to take something you do not need to prove to yourself that it is disgusting, it is harmful, it will destroy your health and will rip your money. Do we need to experience a disease to know it is bad? Only people would do that. But anyway, it doesn't matter how you say it to people, still there is many they would do it because they think this is a joy. But for me, I believe this is very stupid. There's no joy in it. The only one is enjoying it is the one who took your money and destroy your life, the drug dealer. The drug dealer, he get rich, he get poorer, and stupid, and sick. Marijuana can help autism and mood disorder. It is not bad, really. Well, I can justify anything. Do you think that uh, someone like me don't have some time, like, uh, I'm not happy sometime. In fact, a person like me, he get upset from many things in life because I'm watching everything happen around me. And I am a person who go on and speak about everything. So anything, anything happened to you, 
it affects me because I'm not the person who ignores everything around me. I'm very much connected to everything happening. And that will make you, let us say, case sensitive and you are watching carefully. So now we can say marijuana can help autism and mood disorder. How that can help? Or what those drugs do, they will make you high. So now you lose your memory. You forgot about your pain, but you forget about many things too. And that will even destruct your good way of thinking to solve your problem. If you want to fight a disorder, is not by this. Every human being here have a problem. Every human being. doesn't matter how smart he is, how much educated. So if each time I have some, myself, I have a disorder, as you call it, and then I go to marijuana and drugs because somebody told me this is help. Help what? Are you going to be out of it? No. So what it does? It make you high for two hours? Then you need another cigarette after two hours? Are you going to stay the whole day smoking? So all of those are false you know, excuses. They don't help. In fact, I believe strongly that they promote those ideas so they can increase the use. I work in a newspaper before, as I told you. Article about how useful the coffee. Article after article after article. It's like there's no food in the country except coffee. And they put the names of doctors we never heard of. All. You know, uh, Dr. Yashushisha Kakashushu from Japan said, I asked the guy who was making the article, I said, who, who, who's this doctor? He said, I don't know, I just put the name, I make it up. So what they do, companies who sponsor coffee, they sell coffee, they pay the newspaper to make articles praising coffee and the benefit of coffee and why tea is bad. Tea is bad. If you add sugar with the tea, this is, can cause diabetes. Tea, tea, tea can cause uh, uh, allergy. To I mean, they make the tea the disease. Then after a few weeks, suddenly we start making articles about how wonderful the tea is. Just what? So the coffee was good. I said to myself, oh, okay, I like coffee more. I'm, I'm lucky, you know. Okay, look like coffee is the best for me. It's for health. It's good for the heart. It's good for the eyes. It's good for the memory. It's good for... I mean, they make the coffee. It's a salvation for everything. It's like Muhammad, the necklace seed. Then a few weeks after, they start making article about how wonderful the tea. The same the same they did with Al-Qazafi. Al-Qazafi is the bad, is a dictator, is a filthy, is etc. And then they receive a check from Al-Qazafi, the embassy of Libya. Suddenly, they start writing about Al-Qazafi, how wonderful he is, he makes the desert green. So, the media, my friend, they work for somebody always. The same as the stock market. Buy this stock, this one will make you rich, and you read it. Oh, they are saying, we are expecting this stock to be like going crazy, and then you go and buy. This media is not called media for charity. And those who promote those things, they are just fooling you. Drugs is a drugs. Even the drugs which is made by companies for something usually good, like heart, even that one can kill you. Go and find one drug that does not have one million side effect, including death. Like, you know, they show you the drugs in, the, in, in, in YouTube advertising. And then what the drugs do, like the one, the bad thing, they start reading fast. These drugs can cause death, bleeding, and brain tumor. This is a disclaimer, supposedly. So later you can sue them. And they say it so fast. But they are advising that the same drug is, okay, you just told me this drug is good for headache. And now you are telling me that this drug can cause heart attack? So I take a drug for a headache, and later I might die? So even normal drugs have symptoms. So how in the world you you convince yourself that the drugs which make you high is a good thing? No problem. You see, 
I am not a doctor, and I cannot really, uh, I cannot say much about what you are saying. But I believe there's many ways to solve problems, especially like mental issues, you know, better than drugs, because drugs always have side effect. I believe that all those problems happen to us. Because family, family failure, love failure, religious failure, all of those things are connected. So we spoke about how good it's to have a family and the family is connected, there is love. You will notice that all those people you are talking about who have such an issue, they are coming from a broken family or a broken marriage or something wrong in their life happen. So they are depressed, distressed. You fight this not by marijuana. You fight this by fighting the reason. Not by creating other depression reason. If someone feel lonely, Is marijuana going to help him? No. It's going to make him more isolated. He will feel more a stranger. He will seek to be in his room alone. You did not help him. A person feel lonely because society failed to give this person attention and love and care. His family failed. Those things need different kind of treatment have nothing to do with drugs.